Hey everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I am so excited for this video. This video I've been wanting to do for quite some time. I finally just did it and purchased these blushes so that I could do a full on cheek swatching video. I have 11, I had to go count real quick, of the Milani baked blushes to cheek swatch for you today. Everything is done in natural light. I do a heavy swatch on the back of my hand, then a more blended out swatch so you can hopefully see the color when it's more like what it'll look like when you apply it on your face face and then I actually go ahead and apply it on my face. When I applied it on my face I did sort of a heavy swatch a little bit more than I would normally wear just so that hopefully you could see the finish of it easier and the color. I did all of my cheek swatches with the elf blush brush and I wiped it off in between each cheek swatch and I'm testing all the blushes on top of the Estee Lauder double wear sheer foundation without any powder. These were all the shades I could get my hands on. There are some that are missing that I don't think are in production at the moment. Maybe with if they ever come back I can do a part two of this video and get the shades that weren't available but most of these I purchased on Ulta and then a few shades I purchased on Milani's website. So let's get to the swatches I will share my thoughts at the end. Shade number one Dolce Pink is a shimmery warm pink. It has noticeable gold shimmer that you can see up close but the particles aren't super chunky. This one is pretty but I think it is similar to other blushes that I have tried. Shade number two Rose Doro is a rosy copper with a satin finish. It appears to have a pink satin sheen, but it also seems to have some gold sparkles in it. This one is interesting. I'm not sure if this one flatters me. Shade number three, Berry Amore is a peachy bronze with a satin finish. It does have some sparkle in the pan, but I have to really look closely to notice it on my skin. This one is more satin than the others, and I really, really like this one. Shade number five, Luminoso, is luminous peach with a satin finish. This is glowy, but not sparkly. I really enjoy this one, and it's been popular for years for a reason. Shade number six, Bellissimo Bronze, is a shimmery warm bronze. I really applied this one heavily to see how sparkly it was, and if I looked close enough, I could see the gold shimmer, but this one isn't as sparkly as I thought it was going to be. The color isn't really for me. Shade number eight, Coralina, got a little banged up in shipping. It is a bright, shimmery coral. It looks super sparkly in the pan and in the swatch. On my face, you can see the sparkle if you look closely, but the sparkles aren't chunky. I have to be careful how much I apply this one, but the color is super fun. Shade number 12 is Bella Bellini. Milani describes this one as a warm pink with a metallic finish, but to me, this leans purpley with a gold sheen. So this one is sheeny, but not glittery. And if you apply a lot like I did, the gold sheen is pretty strong, but this one is a surprise favorite. Shade 14, Petal Primavera, is light petal pink, and it's a beautiful satin without any glitter. There's the tiniest hint of glow in this one, but you have to look pretty hard to see it. This one is super wearable on my skin tone. This is beautiful. Shade number 15, Sunset Passion, or Passion, however that should be pronounced, is a gorgeous warm rosy tone. It's another satin with barely noticeable shimmer particles. It is gorgeous, and it's one I had to buy on the Milani website versus Ulta. Shade 120, Sunrise Serenita, is a bright orange that has a ton of gold shimmer, but not glitter. The formula is also softer than the others, so maybe it's from a fresher batch. I don't know. If you apply a lot like I did, the gold sheen is very strong. This shade made me very nervous, but weirdly, I can pull this one off. This one I also got on Milani's website. Shade number 130, Coco Felicita, is one I was super excited for. This is a rich, toasty brick shade. Is this meant for my skin tone? Probably not, but I love shades like this. This one is a gorgeous satin with no glitter, and I absolutely love it. So thrilled I can pull this one off. This one is on Milani's website as well. Okay, so there you have it, swatches of all of them. I'm also going to insert here arm swatches of all of them together so you can see all the different shade differences. So starting at my wrist, we have Dulce Pink, Rose Doro, Berry Amore, Luminoso, Bellissimo Bronze, Coralina, Bella Bellini, Petal Primavera, Sunset Passion, Sunrise Serenita, and the last one is Coco Felicita. 
Initially, when I did this video, I thought that I was going to pick a couple of my favorite shades and then give the rest away. Now I know I'm gonna have a hard time choosing any to give away because I like them all so much. These blushes have been people's favorites for years and I really think that they are worth the hype, especially now when glowy blushes are kind of back in style. So my favorite shades are definitely the ones that are more satin. I decided to wear Petal Primavera. Yeah, that's the name of this one for the intro and outro of the video. This is one of them that doesn't have any glitter in it. And I think it is such a pretty pink. That will be definitely one that I'm keeping. There were some, however, that really surprised me. Like I did not think I was gonna like this one and it turned it out being so cute. Sorry, I didn't mention what that was. This is um, Bella Bellini, but it's the same with this coral shade, Coralina. I thought for sure that I would hate this I don't know when I'm gonna wear it, but I know I'm gonna have a hard time giving it away because it's such a fun, fiery shade, very different from anything else that I have. Another favorite was Berry Amore, and then Luminoso, of course. I mean, there's a reason why so many people love it. It's like the perfect peach blush. But I just love this one. Coco Felicita. This is what I had to get on the Milani website, and it is like the most beautiful, roasty fall blush. Ooh. <laughs> I love it. This shade, Sunrise Serenita. Oh man, this is another one I thought for sure I would try on and instantly decide to give it away. But you know, there's this weird phenomenon with orange blush. <laughs> it somehow works and looks okay. I mean, this one has an intense gold sheen. This is another one where I'm like, when would I wear that? I would really have to be careful to not use too much of this. So I don't have the, the craziest shiny gold cheeks, but it's honestly really pretty. I love Sunset Passion. Passion. This is another one that doesn't have a lot of glitter in it. I thought it was just the most beautiful rosy color. I think the only two that I really didn't care for was shade number six, Bellissimo Bronze, which I'm actually a little surprised because I like a neutral blush, but I think this one, just the tone of it is just not quite right for me. If I, you know, in the video, I did apply a very heavy swatch of it because I was really trying to show you the color, but I just don't think this one flatters me. And then this one, Rose Doro, I was really surprised. Surprise. I thought I was really going to like this one because it kind of looks like a brownish pinky color, but it has this kind of interesting pink flip to it along with the gold shimmer that I, it's just not my favorite, I don't think. So out of 11 blushes, there's only two that I really didn't care for. What am I gonna do? <laughs> so many blushes. It's a problem I'm okay with having, I must admit. If you're a fan of these blushes, make sure and let us all know down in the comments what your favorite shades are. Let me know which shades I'm missing. I really did go on the hunt on Amazon looking for some of those shades and I could not find them. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of my video, I always talk about my tea of the day at the end of the video. Today I'm drinking a black tea from Tea Viver. This one has a funny name because when it's rolled, I guess it looks like snails. <laughs> that's what they say. I don't really think it does, but that's that's what they say. It's very pleasant and full-bodied. If you really like Chinese tea, Tea Viver is one of my favorite places to get Chinese tea. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again very soon in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.